Today is Earth Day and we're speaking with Ash Knopp of Wilderlands, the world's first biodiversity credit developer to have protected over 100,000 square metres of vulnerable Australian land. It's wonderful to welcome him to the studio. Let's start off with a little bit about Wilderlands. Tell us more. Yeah, great, Mike. Great to be with you. Well, imagine if you could pick a square metre of vulnerable Australian habitat and protect it forever. You could learn about its unique flora and fauna, or receive regular updates from ecologists on the ground, Watch as nature flourishes thanks to your support. This is what Wilderlands does. We've created one of the world's first voluntary biodiversity credits, which represents one square metre of permanently protected, actively managed uh, habitat. And we brought that to life thanks to our conservation partners nice. and thanks to those who then sponsor that work through the purchase of those credits. That is a very cool idea. It's funny, the gamification of almost uh, choosing that land sits in my head quite well and goes, yeah. hey, let's look at that and keep an eye on how it's going. So you guys have just celebrated a major milestone with over 100,000 uh, biodiversity credits. Tell us a little bit more about what that means. Yeah, it's been a really special week for us um, in, in celebrating this milestone, being the world's fastest to that milestone milestone in terms of our voluntary biodiversity credit market and uh, really though the important thing for us is, is celebrating the demonstration of the impact of those those un units so uh, what that means is we've uh, been busily working away at developing what we're calling the first 100 dashboard which yep. is available to see on our website uh, wilderlands.earth tell us a little bit more a little bit more about the dashboard yeah great so effectively what it does is showcase uh, case studies of our partners as well as brings to life the four projects that we've unitized. So the statistics, the stories, the impact, the soundscapes, the images, the videos of the work on the ground. I love that. On, on, this, on the flip side, we then ran an event last week, uh, really acknowledging, I guess, the partners that have helped enable this and bringing together sector leaders that uh, we, gave us an, an opportunity to talk about how we've got to where we are, where we're going and uh, how they can join us. So let's talk a little bit about the companies you've been working with alongside. Uh, it always takes a village to get things like this going. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more. Well, since we launched the platform in August 2022, we've uh, had a growing number of companies come to us and partner with us in a variety of ways. And uh, one of those uh, is a great example of collaboration in its truest form. Uh, so a live body uh, we partnered with last year, in fact, um, in 2023, where exactly a year ago, they ran an Earth Day campaign. Uh, but in 2024, they wanted to go one step further. Okay. And so earlier this month, uh, we partnered with a live body to launch the limited edition coastal wildflower duo, which is a wash and lotion pack inspired by the beauty and flora and scents of uh, the Kurong Lakes region. And for every product sold, one square metre of our Kurong Lakes project is protected. And as today, 22nd of April, happens to be World Earth Day, uh, Livebody have just announced that they're going to be doubling that impact for this week. Fantastic. So in the lead up to Mother's Day, Mike, I'm sure you're looking for, for gifts. You've actually so, just reminded me. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect gift, where you'll be helping protect two square metres of vulnerable habitat with every duo pack sold. Fantastic stuff from you. Now, I understand you've also partnered with Adelaide Festival recently. What was the collaboration there that you wanted to bring uh, to our attention as well? Yeah, it's the second year running where we've uh, partnered with this event, uh, incredible festival in Adelaide. They've protected over 3,400 square metres of the same project, Kurong Lakes. And it's a real example, and we're seeing an increasing number of businesses come to us, whether it's about event, uh, whether it's around products like a live body, whether it's about staff engagement, or even their ESG aspirations. We're starting to, I guess, engage more meaningfully with companies who are wanting to bring nature in to, as part of what they do day to day. And of course, we're seeing a lot more interest in that sort of thing at the moment. The uptake of sustainable, um, you know, active ac activities is so important. Mm. What's next for you and the team at Wilderlands moving forward? Yeah, well, we exist to protect Australia's biodiversity one square metre at a time. We celebrate 100,000 square metres sold, but our aspiration is to, to protect a million by the end of this year. And so we're here to partner with people and companies who want to protect the planet with us. Um, and they can do so by contacting us through the website wilderlands.earth. Fantastic stuff from you. And that is a lofty goal. I wish you mm. and the team uh, all the luck. Um, there is a lot of land out there, right? Mm. I haven't been hiking for a little while, but I remember looking around and there was a lot going on. We've got a lot of work to do. Ash, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Again, Mike. the website's the uh, best place to go. Exactly. Yep. Wonderful. All right. Well, thank you for joining me here at Ticker. Thanks, Mike.